Hi, I'm Shannon, and I'm one of the librarians here at Naperville Public Library, and we're here to talk about what's next if you like Les Miserables. And what's next is a series where we take a classic and we find other items in the collection that you might like to read and watch and enjoy. So let's get started. So Les Miserables was originally a novel written by Victor Hugo, and it was published in 1862. And the plot begins in 1815 and culminates around the 1832 June Rebellion in Paris. And there have been many adaptations, including radio and television and film. But the most famous uh, is probably the musical, which opened in 1980 in Paris, and then the English language version beginning in London in 1985. And there are various different aspects of this story that might appeal to a reader, and we can find read-alikes or movies that would speak to each of them. So let's get started. So if the French history is what draws you into this story, I have a whole bunch of different suggestions throughout time for you that may be appealing. Uh, the first, first one is The Three Musketeers by Alexandre Dumas. This swashbuckling saga gives us several of the best known heroic figures of classic literature, Athos, Porthos, Aramis, and their protege d'Artagnan, and their slogan, One for All and All for One, which is a motto of, for unity and brotherhood. And this book is set in France in the 1620s. Uh, and then we have The Scarlet Pimpernel by Baroness Emusca Orsi. And this novel takes place during the Reign of Terror during the French Revolution in the 1790s. And in it, an Englishman who appears to be a wealthy dandy is leading a double life as a masked escape artist who saves French aristocrats from the guillotine. And this was first published in 1905 after a stage play by the same name written by the author had a run of two years in London. Uh, the next one we have is A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. And this book uh, is set in London and Paris, and it leads up to the events of the French Revolution and centers around a young woman named Lucy and the men who surround her. Her father, who was released from the Bastille after 18 years, uh, the exiled French aristocrat Charles Darnay, and the accomplished but infamous English lawyer Sidney Carton. And uh, this contains a few of Dickens's and literature's most famous lines. Uh, it was the best of times. It was the worst of times. And uh, it is a far, far better thing that I do than I have ever done. It is a far, far better rest that I go to than I have ever known. Um, next, we have The Seamstress by Alison Pittman. And in this one, the lives of two peasant girls take on a very different path when one is offered the position of seamstress at the Palace of Versailles, leading uh, right into the revolution. And uh, actually, this is based on a minor character from A Tale of Two Cities. Uh, after that, we have Madame Tussaud, uh, a novel of the French Revolution by Michelle Moran. And this novel is about the unusual life of the woman famed for her wax museums. And uh, last we have The Many Lives and Secret Sorrows of Josephine B. by Sandra Gouland. And this tracks the trajectory of Josephine, the woman who became Napoleon's wife, from her life in Martinique to her adjustment to French society uh, and then doing what was necessary to survive the revolution after her first husband was guillotined and then uh, her meeting up with Napoleon and going from there. Um, now, if you're looking for other books that have stories uh, involving prisoners, uh, which is, of course, a factor in Les Miserables, um, we have the first one is The Man in the Iron Mask uh, by Alexandre Dumas. Um, again, this goes back to The Three Musketeers. This is the final adventure in their saga and was made into a film as well a few years ago. Um, we have The Hidden Diary of Marie Antoinette by Carolee Erickson. Um, this one uh, we have as the deposed queen, Marie Antoinette, is awaiting her execution. She is writing the story of her life from her prison cell. Uh, and then the last one is actually nonfiction. The other two were fiction. Um, and it's called Revolutionary Brothers, Thomas Jefferson, the Marquis de Lafayette, and the Friendship that Helped Forge Two Nations by Tom Chaffin. 
And Lafayette was a, a glory-hungry general, and he was first paired with Jefferson when he came to Virginia, where Jefferson was governor. Um, and the two formed an alliance and friendship that lasted for four decades. But Lafayette was imprisoned in Austria, and Jefferson and other friends had to work to get his release. Um, so you'll read about that in this book. Uh, this next section I have called Reimaginings. Uh, the first one is Sky Without Stars by Jessica Brody. This is a reimagining re of uh, Les Miserables set in space. <laughs> so kind of a cross between space opera and uh, Les Miserables here for you. Um, the next one is The Court of Miracles by Kester Grant. This is the first in a trilogy set in an alternate 1820s Paris, inspired by uh, both Les Mis and uh, The Jungle Book. And then the last one here is um, the manga version of Les Miserables. Um, so, you know, if you are already familiar with the story or if you just want to read it and, and have kind of a visual version, uh, here's one for you. Now, if you like the musical, if you're familiar with the musical and you like it and you want some more information about that, um, a few books here would be uh, Les Miserables, the musical, um, this is the musical songbook, including a 16-page color section of production photos. Uh, the next one we have is called Musicals, the Definitive Illustrated Story, which has, you know, history of all kinds of different uh, musicals, including Les Miserables. And then uh, Drama High, the incredible true story of a brilliant teacher, a struggling town, and the magic of theater by Michael Sokolov. And uh, this is about the amazingly successful theater company at Harry S. Truman High School in Levittown, Pennsylvania, and its director. Uh, and they test out uh, rather controversial shows before they go on to other high school theater programs in the United States. Um, and then for some more background, um, there's the book here on the left is The Novel of the Century, The Extraordinary Adventures of Les Miserables. Um, this is basically the, its origins, basically the biography of, uh, of the book <laughs> and the, the show as well. Its origins and later stage and screen lives. Uh, so just kind of if you want the whole, the whole story, here you go. And then also I put in here The Dream Lover by Elizabeth Berg. This is a novel. Um, it's really about the French novelist Georges Sand, who uh, left her marriage and began to dress as a man. And uh, her friends and lovers included uh, Frédéric Chopin, uh, Gustave Flaubert, Elizabeth Barrett Browning, and our very own Victor Hugo, who wrote Les Miserables. Um, as far as film, uh, in our collection we own various productions of Les Mis on DVD and e-video, uh, including a 2018 PBS TV miniseries, so that's something a little bit different. And thank you for watching. Hope you found some new items to read and watch and enjoy uh, here, and uh, see you soon at the library now that we are open, and bye-bye for now.